This coverall is made of a fabric called Proterra, which is a blend of monacrylic fiber, 65%, along with Nomex and Kevlar. This flash, like the others, will last three seconds, and we'll be looking for after flame, if any, garment degradation, things like that. We have a three-second flash fire, and then a small amount of after flame and a massive amount of smoke. And the garment continues to smoke for considerably longer than some of the other products we've looked at. It shows significant evidence of carbonization over most of the body. On the close-up of the leg area, you can see, again, some shrinkage and significant carbonization of this product. That Proterra shot, slow motion. If you watch carefully, when the torches turn off, there is very brief after flame. It does self-extinguish almost immediately. While it's very brief, it's body-wide, pretty much. And then there's a massive amount of smoke that is put out initially and continues to be put out down in both the leg area, the torso, as well as the arms. As with some of the other products we've looked at, this particular pair of coveralls needs to have a scissors taken to the back because of the shrinkage. So they're going to cut a significant portion of the back of the garment open to allow it to be removed from the mannequin. We take a closer look at the undergarments from under this, and you notice significant charring and degradation of the cotton t-shirt as well, because while this product did not ignite and continue to burn, was flame resistant and saved the wearer's life, it again did not insulate overly well as a single layer to the hazard. Here's the body burn silhouette for the Proterra 6.5 ounce coverall, and the body burn is 30.95%.